Ladies and gentlemen, this bout scheduled for eight three-minute rounds in the middleweight division. Brought to you by Mervyn Turner and in association with Boxing Social and Fight Night Live and the proud sponsors, CoinPoker.com, Cole Robert, Accident Repair Center. This bout is also sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, the stewards in charge, John Swanson, Martin O'Brien, and the inspectors ringside, Gordon Wotherspoon, Donnie Robertson, and Charlie Clark. Timekeeper at the bell, Jim Kirkwood, and the third man in charge of the action in the ring, referee Darren Maxwell. So now, ladies and gentlemen, Glasgow, are you ready? And introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing the gray and black. His official weight of 164 pounds. He has a record of seven fights, one loss, six wins, and four of those wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Manangua, Nicaragua, Lesser Espino. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks. His official weight of 152 pounds and four ounces. He is currently undefeated with nine wins, and seven of those wins come in by way of knockout. Hailing from Porto, Portugal, Luisa Lima! Okay, guys, just listen, obey my commands at all times, defend yourselves at all times, watch your head, touch gloves. So here we go, this eight rounder, Wissa Lima wearing the black trunks, Monstro emblazoned in white across the front of the band, in against Lester Espino, the Nicaraguan, the 32-year-old who wears the grey with black trim and well Lima last time we saw him on these shores in Cardiff on the undercard of the Sean McGoldrick Scott Allen British bantamweight title fight he was in some hurry to finish the job and he did so in spectacular fashion a first round KO of Ruben Angulo but he's just showing in these opening seconds of Spino a little bit more respect than he did Angulo just taking his time a little bit but he's certainly a man with plenty of talent and a really exciting man, exciting fighter to watch. And this one, and he's got a Spino in the opposite corner that has a bit of ambition and a good cagey looking affair. Yeah, this I don't know too much about this this Lima, but I've heard some good things and by looking at the shape of him, he definitely he's in great shape and he's. I've heard, like I said, that well, his record speaks for itself. He's got seven seven knockouts out of nine wins, so he definitely carries power. And you can see that from his physique as well. He's he's always a very fit, strong boy, and he's now we're only in I'm, I'm half halfway into the round one, and he's he's starting to get on top of Espino already. Yep. He's had his feeling out process, it would seem, and now he's, he's just started to edge forward and, and get to work a bit. Espino's felt the power now. He's just gone into his shell a little bit after the fairly open in the opening seconds. But Lima is determined to put Angola, his birthplace, and Portugal, where he's very firmly based on the map. Yeah, I think the first, the first half of this round there was a, was a feeling out process. He's now known that Espino isn't really coming back with too much. I think he was expecting Espino, or, or definitely with the, the cagey start, thinking he was going to come back. But I don't think Espino has actually threw a punch this round. So I think Lima is just going to grow in confidence as this fight goes and start letting his hands go even more. Now switching stance, Espino, that's, that's a sign of under pressure, not really a bit overwhelmed and not knowing what to do. That, that, that's how I feel anyway when an opponent does something like that when I'm in there, if they start switching stance due to just totally out of the blue. I think that's a case of like, they're under pressure, they just they feel like they need to do something else. Good feet from Lima. 
yeah, he's the first time I've seen him, but impressed from what I've seen. Talented fighter. Strong, come forward, obviously can punch. Well, we've seen a little bit more of him than we saw in Cardiff. It was all over in a blur in Cardiff, but it'd be good to see a bit more of him. Does look like a real talent. Said he is a complete boxer. He wants to show off Portuguese boxing. We don't know enough about Portuguese boxing, he says, and he wants to open it up to the world. And when we do think about Portugal and Spain, we can reel off a few Spanish fighters, Kiko Martinez, obviously, John Miguez, who's the European champion, and then, obviously, the beast of Bilbao, Kermin Laparaga. But when you think of Portugal, it's, it's tricky. Yeah, yeah, I think this this could be the one. He could be the one that, that, that brings eyes to, to, to Portuguese fighters. He's, he's definitely making a name for himself over here in Britain. I didn't see him his last fight in Cardiff. I heard about it. This is my first time seeing him live. Only one round in, and I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. He's, he looks like a real handful. Espino just tries to get some shots off at the start of the second round, but I think that could play into Lima's hands. But he doesn't just look heavy-handed and strong and everything like that. He, he looks like he's really got a good boxing brain as well. He's got good feet. Yep. Distance control yep. is really good. He's, he's really... Yeah, he looks like he's got all, to be honest with you. Oh, excellent work. Now, yeah. Spinner's in trouble, and he's yeah. already fallen into the ropes. He looked well, completely bereft of ideas there as Lima started getting to work, and I'm not sure he's going to make the count. Well, Darren Maxwell's had enough. Yep. Um, Wisma Lima, as soon as he got his rhythm in the second round, let the hands go. He was just too much for Espino. Yeah, serious fighter. Very, very impressed with what I've seen there. And like, like I was saying, he looks physically unbelievable shape. Looks like he punches really hard. Great feet. Distance control was great. Yeah, looks like he's got a real, real bright future. Well, Espino, we didn't even get round to talking too much about him, but this is no... No bum. He beat Sahir Iqbal in Bolton just a couple of weeks ago. Anthony Crawler, his fighter. He's also beaten Tommy Jacobs, who's again was a top amateur, then came back, tried to make a, a real go of the pro game. He stopped both of those. So Espina came here with, with big ambition after a couple of real shots on his card right here in the UK. And Lima's blown him away. Yeah, that was that was a great, great performance. For the first the first minute it was KJ. Obviously had that little bit of respect for for him for Espino. Because like you've said, there he's coming off the back of some some good wins. Sayer Iqbal, good fighter. Yep. Uh, he's come tiki with him. So obviously Lima's had that respect there for the first half a minute of the round. He's then started letting his shots go, been in full control towards the end of the first round. And I feel like there was no Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 46 lose. seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout, Wiesa Lima!